Law enforcement officials have read it. What is the most obscure law you've ever had to enforce? And how did it happen? In New Jersey there are very specific laws regulating the size of stop signs on ice cream trucks. I'm not a law enforcement officer, but a legislative aide for a state representative. A few weeks ago a very angry middle-aged man called the office complaining about the ice cream truck parked down the street from his house. At first I thought he was kidding, but then he started citing NJ Statute 39. Colon 4-128.5 Laying out how big an ice cream truck stop sign must be and how far it must extend off of the truck. I called the local police department and after assuring them I was not a prank caller and that I did work for the senator, they said they would assign someone to the case. I got a call two days later saying they went down to the ice cream truck with measuring tape and sure enough the stop sign was not regulation size. The ice cream truck was cited, fined, and given a week to get a new stop sign. I'm not sure who calls the police or their senator's office about this type of stuff, but I have a funny feeling that this angry old guy was a competing ice cream man. One time my grandfather got a ticket for riding a horse without a lantern. Local cop and him weren't on good terms, and he was going to a friend's to get drunk, so he rode his horse instead of driving. On his way home, at night, he said the cop stopped him, and because he couldn't cite him for being drunk, he wrote him up for riding a horse without a lantern. Edit, so to clear some things up, keep in mind that my grandpa is 80 so this had to be about 60 years ago that this happened. I don't know what the laws were back then. Also it was 60 years ago, grandpa's memory can be a little bit fuzzy on the exact details, but this is a story as I heard it. My dad also attested to the fact that my grandpa did indeed get a ticket for riding a horse without a lantern. The Canadian Criminal Code has a section prohibiting the obstruction of an officiating clergyman. I came across an instance of someone being disruptive, rude and confrontational inside a Catholic church during mass. I arrested the individual and came across S176 of the CCC. I had to obtain a statement from the father, proof of his divinity, and confirm that mass was going on. I charged the person, but ultimately the charges were dropped. I was gently reminded that some of our criminal code is outdated and not applicable anymore. Not a cop, but saw this dude get arrested for the most bizarre thing I'll ever witness. My buddies have a small cottage on a lake in western Michigan, and everyone knows you don't mess with the police on the lake, because those guys can be in the water on sea deuce within like 5 minutes after you call. We are sitting out on the dock, and we saw mama duck, and a line of ducklings swim past us. They get about 20 or so feet out into the lake past the dock, and this dude rolls up on a jet ski, pulls out a fucking revolver, and caps Mama Duck. This is a violation of like every hunting and public safety law there is, so we run up to the house and tell our parents, and the police are called. We get back down to the dock, with armed dads in tow, and daddy duck is swimming out to the distraught ducklings, just as jackass is rolling back up. My friend's dad yells something at him, and the dude, turns out he was very drunk, yells something offensive back, and bam, pops daddy duck, right in front of two county sheriffs. They managed to arrest him without much brouhaha, but odds are, that dude got hit with an amazing fine, lost his driver's license, and probably did some jail time. Tonight on 24 hour news 8, a man was arrested today, after shooting two ducks with a revolver on a jet ski while drunk. Honking your horn in the absence of danger. A motorcycle cop cut me off as I was entering the freeway once with no siren. I didn't recognize he was a cop as it was dark, so I slammed on my horn and he immediately pulled me over. He said that the horn was too late after the instance of danger. Got a ticket, and to tack onto that, because he smelled weed, I was handcuffed on the side of the freeway while he waited for backup to help search my vehicle, had to stand there for nearly an hour in heels. My feet really 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 hurt. There was no weed. Not a cop, but a former roommate was when I went to grad school near Amish country. BUI, buggying under the influence, is apparently a thing. It turns out that an insignificant number of Amish get drunk and then let the horse go home 
because it knows the way. The thing is, the horse doesn't know about stop signs, traffic signals, the speed to go, etc. I'm not a cop, but I was hiking a really scenic trail in Alaska when I encountered some idiot with a chainsaw cutting down giant old growth spruce trees from alongside the trail and hauling them back to his rusty pickup truck that was parked at the trailhead. I called the police non-emergency number. They take this shit seriously in Ack and the cops were there within minutes with sirens blazing. He got a citation for illegal wood cutting in a national forest and he had to pay a fine that was in the thousands. He even got his dumb face in the paper with a short write up of his crime. Shit, I don't even remember the exact wording on the law. Something like assault by bodily excretions or something. I had to look it up. Basically, the guy peed on me, on purpose, while we were trying to arrest him. He also got charged with assault on an officer when he decided pee wasn't working and resisting, as well as the original trespassing charge that brought us to him in the first red place. There's also a legend in my department where an officer needed a reason to chase a guy that he knew to be a felon who carried a gun, so when he caught him, he charged him with firearm by felon and running without a reflective vest at night, which is an actual city ordinance. No, it didn't stick. Edit, the firearm by felon, and running without a vest charges didn't stick. My charges did. Live in a small rural town. You'd be surprised how many dweez while driving a tractor slash lawnmower we give out. And no, we don't write these tickets if we see them mowing their yard with a beer. These people drive this stuff into town to the gas station, Walmart, and other places with beer in hands because they think we can't write them a dwee. My neighbor is an amateur radio, one day he calls me sounding pissed, asking if I had installed any new electronic devices recently, I didn't, so I said no without knowing what was the problem. One week later some technicians from the national communication department were knocking at my door handling lots of weird detectors and asking if they could visit my house because a complaint about illegal use of a certain frequencies had been filed against me. They tried every room in the house before finally finding the source. One LED light bulb was apparently sounding weird. They told me to change it, but didn't find me. I've heard about this over in England. A guy caused interference on several bands when he opened and closed the fridge door in his garage. We have the High Hedges Act 2011 in this country. A guy phones up the council complaining that his neighbor's hedges were blocking light into his living room. Fun thing about this law is it only applies when the hedge is 2 meters, 6 feet 6 inches, tall or over, we can't force anyone to trim the hedge below said height. We charge him some silly amount, up to 360 pounds, can't remember exactly, for the privilege of coming out to look, see the hedges blocking light, go to the neighbor and tell him to trim the hedge down, or we'll have to serve a notice. The neighbor cuts the hedge down to 2 meters and it still blocks light into the room. We can't do anything more. This happens far more than it should. In Kennesaw, Georgia, there is a law that states that all home ER winners must own a gun. I'm curious to hear if anyone has gotten in trouble for that one. I live there, most definitely not enforced, and it's not like there would be a way to anyhow. You have a message from the lawman. Like and sub for not getting anything.